and welcome back to the channel on this video it's hot outside and I can really feel it coming from air-conditioned house to outside hot and how hot is it well it's currently 98 degrees here right now which is about 37 Celsius and I thought I would do a, a quick ride and when I say quick I mean quick I don't plan on being out here a long time but I wanted to do a ride and just talk a little bit about riding in hot weather so let's talk about that some a uh, little bit about riding in hot weather I'm not a big fan of riding in hot weather but it's doable uh, provided that your bike and you are okay with it um, so I was doing some looking up before I come out for the ride to see what are what they would call the limit the maximum uh, where you should not be going out like when the temperature hits X degrees because I know it's affecting everything right it's affecting your battery and I'm sure your motor is not liking it hot and nothing is the controller and of course you yourself uh, can you stand the heat you are getting fanned by the air from riding the bike yes but it's warm air let's face it it's hot air so how much fanning are you actually getting um, but so in my searching and looking this up the extreme highest temperature uh, they say is 115 well think about it first of all how often does where you live get to 115 if ever degrees I don't know why I was starting to go that way I'm going to go this way and um, so I have ridden one time in temperatures like that and that was a few years back when we had the crazy extreme heat here we had uh, 117 degrees at hit in Portland um, and there was that was just the uh, a few years back I forget whether that was three or four years ago but anyway um, I rode uh, out in that a little bit but it was only a brief quick ride it wasn't miles and miles and hours and hours or anything like that and uh, that was the stretch of weather where we had once again I'm changing my mind that's where we had I think it was either I think it was four consecutive days of a hundred plus degrees which pretty warm um, that's the hottest temperature I've ever lived um, through because I've never been in heat that extreme uh, where I'm from back in Canada in Toronto area we would get hot weather you know hot temperatures but you get that awful humidity and I mean first thing in the morning and you know if you live in these areas that gets high humidity first thing in the morning it feels like an oven you don't even have any cooling down really feeling um, but here I can tell you usually it cools off like tonight it's probably going to go down to 60 degrees you know something like that um, so it's it's going to cool off some quite a bit and uh, you don't have that uh, in places where you get high humidity Florida and stuff like that places like that and uh, so yeah you got to be able to stand it yourself first of all and then secondly it's not great for your bike uh, and the battery and everything but uh, it's doable like I said And I'm out here just for a quick ride around. I just wanted to get out. I had been working all day today, so 
I'm recording this video on Saturday afternoon at about 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, so I wanted to get out for a quick ride. And, uh, and in the shade like this, when the trees are shading, it's nice. So if you have places to ride like uh, trails that have shade, it's not so bad. The 98 doesn't feel as bad as it would if you had, you know, you're out in direct sunlight. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments whether you ride in hot weather or not. I know there are people uh, and YouTubers, fellow YouTubers, who will not ride in temperatures above X amount of degrees or if it's raining out or anything like that. Snow, obviously, they were not going to ride in the snow. I've ridden in all the weather. The only thing I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of is riding in thunderstorms. I, I won't do that unless I get caught in one. You have no choice. I'm not riding in thunderstorms and ice. I have done it before. I've done a, a video or two before riding in ice and snow. I've done a few of those. And, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend riding in ice or riding in thunderstorms. Those are the two worst, like whether it's being an ice storm or ice on the road or uh, freezing rain is another, like you don't want to be riding in that because you're just going to slip and slide. It doesn't matter what tires you have. There are traction devices and things you can get, or, or tires, but still, I, is it really worth going through all that? Probably not. Your probably best bet is probably just to stay home and, and watch it out your window. But this is a uh, short-lived heat wave. It's not going to last that long, and uh, as we're, tomorrow is September the 1st, as you watch this video, it's going to be tomorrow, which would be September the 1st, and uh, so when we do get heat waves now, if we get any more, which I think we got another one coming next week, but um, they, you know, they don't last as long, and they cool off because the sun um, set sooner, doesn't get up as high now as it would have six weeks ago kind of deal. But yeah, let me know in the comments what your riding habits are. Do you, is there certain types of weather that you say, no, I'm not doing that? Or are you a little more brave and say, yeah, I don't mind, you know, if you dress properly and you know, take all the precautions and yeah, go for it. I think I'm already out here longer than I thought I was going to be, but I don't know, there's something about when you get on the bike, you just want to ride, right? It feels good. Especially if you have a good bike and I as you know, if you are a regular watcher to the channel, that I absolutely love this Lyric Graffiti. And um, so it's an awesome uh, bike companion. And it won't be long now before the big brother Lyric Graffiti X will come along and assume the role I'll still have the graffiti, but I'm sure it'll take a back seat to the graffiti X. I'm almost certain of that one. And we're going into the bike lane, and this is always tricky to get around the debris and crap. I was going to kick it up a little faster here, but...
Gotta watch the branches. Oop. You know, honestly, we shouldn't have to duck when we're in a bike lane, duck branches. That's ridiculous. Making my... Well, I was going to turn there, but since cars are coming, to heck with it. I'll turn here. I can sure feel that sun on my back. Whichever direction I'm turning, I can feel it. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, uh, if you've got any uh, stories to tell about conditions you've ridden in, be it rainy, snowy, hot, humid, let us know in the comments. I'd be interested in reading what experiences you've had with weather conditions and riding. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment, like I say, on this video or any other video that you've seen on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments below and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time keep your wheels on the road stay cool see you later